here with BlueSkyHome.com. I have a little bit different kind of a project today. Instead of a DIY project, it's a DIY door project. This is our front door, and as you can see, the stain has really weathered um, all, all over, but especially down here. Our house faces west, so the sun really um, shines and, and penetrates uh, on this side, and the door needs to be restained. Okay, the first step is to clean your door. As you can imagine, it's a front door, it gets dirty, it's like a piece of furniture, and you really have to clean it. I'm gonna be using, again, Clean Slate uh, by Amy Howard at home. This is what will get off dirt and grime and oils or wax. Um, if you've ever used furniture polish, on a piece of furniture, that furniture polish actually will build up and create residue on your furniture. So before we started, I um, used um, painter's tape so that I wouldn't accidentally get anything on the glass. And because I didn't want to take a chance with any dust, I went ahead and cleaned the glass just to make sure it was uh, dust free. So you want a rag. You'll notice also that I put a piece of uh, our drop cloth down because I don't want to accidentally spill anything on our hardwood floors. I'm using, I'll be using a step stool. Our door is, uh, I'm guessing, nine or ten feet tall, and I'm not that tall, I can't get up there. So you really want to saturate your rag. And I'm just going to get down here. I can already see a lot of stuff coming off. So as you go through and clean, you want to turn your rag over until you finish cleaning. So let's get started.
there. I am back and as you can see, I hope you can see, we have added two coats of the English Walnut Gel Stain to the front door. It looks beautiful. Um, it's been really humid the last few days here and so it took longer to dry than normal. I ended up putting our floor fan kind of right out front here and blowing it, uh, but it's, it's dry now. Uh, we did this started on one day, finished on the other day, and so now here it's morning. You may hear the yard guys out there, just kind of forget them. Um, so what we're going to do now is seal the door. You always want to seal your furniture, uh, especially for a door or outdoor furniture that's going to be exposed to the sun and the rain and the weather uh, because that's what can really wear it down. So what I'm using is matte sealer from a maker studio. I've used this several times before. It is a wonderful product. Um, it is water-based. Um, it has no VOCs. Um, it creates kind of a low sheen um, uh, on your uh, projects. Um, and uh, you just want to shake it up a little bit before you use it. And I've got my little step stool over here so that uh, Set that on there. Now, um, to go around your small areas, like hush over there, um, I'm going to use a small brush to go around my trim. Now you'll notice it goes on kind of milky white. Don't let you, that panic you. When it dries, it will turn clear. Okay? But it just goes on real easy. Gel stain, hopefully, from a 
Maker Studio. I cannot recommend this product enough. Um, you can go on my website to a Maker Studio um, and read all about it. Um, it's water-based. It has no VOCs. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't have a smell. You can use this indoors. I have painted or stained indoors before. Um, it goes on so easily. Okay. Uh, it also washes just with soap and water. To seal your project, you want to use a matte sealer. Um, this has just a low sheen to it. Um, this is also from a Maker Studio. Again, these are such wonderful products, and I'm so happy to, to use them and tell you about them. Um, you can use one or two coats, depending on the project that you're using. Um, we did do two coats. This is a front door. It gets a lot of sun and rain, so I wanted to make sure that we protected it really well. So it might be another seven years before I have to do this. So that's our front door. I hope you like it. I wish you could come and visit um, because I think it's so much more welcoming. So have a great day. I'll be back with more projects.